it's in these four years there have been uh, recent evidence supporting uh, 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 new recommendations in the PCI field but also in the cabbage field. I would say that um, the, uh, one of the most important uh, chapters is the uh, choice of revascularization methods in patients with stable coronary artery disease. And there has, uh, there has been a recent publication in Lancet of a meta-analysis looking at 11 randomized trials comparing both techniques. And this led to uh, a recent update uh, in these new guidelines. If I have to choose uh, three topics uh, um, in the cabbage uh, section, we have, uh, uh, for example, new evidence that uh, uh, gives a, a most prominent role for cabbage in patients with diabetes compared with PCI. There is a recommendation regarding the use of the radial artery supported by a meta-analysis and now the radial artery is recommended in patients with a high degree stenosis of their coronary arteries. Well, I would say they are both. Uh, they are competitors, of course, sometimes, particularly in, in a private setting, but they have to be uh, also, uh, they have to be collaborators. They have to work together, and that's uh, the, the notion of how the hard team was uh, uh, introduced in 2010 uh, with the myocardial revascularization guidelines. Why? Because the decision making, it is important to have an opinion coming from the clinical cardiologist, the interventional cardiologist and the cardiac surgeon. Uh, and the confrontation of these opinions together with the patient's own decision is key. So I think they have to be uh, collaborators in, in, for the sake of the patient.